Hey YouTube, uh, Grecian Thunder here. It's been a few days since I did a video, so I decided I was gonna do a couple today. Um, I've been out buying and um, going through what I bought earlier this year and um, decided to do a couple short ones. I'm gonna start off with a couple records I forgot that my friend Christian gave me. Um, I shouldn't have forgotten them, but um, he gave me uh, two records by the same artist, um, and Big Star actually um, mentioned this artist um, a while back, um, Jean-Michel Jarre, or Jean-Michel Jarre, Oxygen, uh, synth record, um, excellent. It's really atmospheric and uh, powerful, so pick that up if you see it. And then he also gave me a Jean-Michel Jarre Equinox. Really awesome cover, I love this cover a lot. Very creepy photograph there too. Um, also synth, but yeah, both great additions to my collection. Um, next I have some records that I bought, not at a store, but um, through someone my roommate uh, used to work with. He was moving out of state, so he was uh, selling off a lot of his record collection. And um, he sent a list home with him, and I picked a few things up. And first we have um, Poly 6, it's a picture disc. Hey Bob, my friend. Sorry about the glare. Um, similar to the last one I showed you, a real spazzy Japanese awesomeness. Um, up next, I picked up um, one of my favorite bands. I don't have anything from them on vinyl. I have pretty much all their records on CD. Um, but I need to start picking it up. There's been some reissues and. Um, this is a tribute to the birthday party. Um, release the bats, and it's on 3-1-G. Um, you got bands like uh, let's see, Das Oath, Cattle Decapitation, uh, X Models, Melt Banana, um, Get Hustle, Daughters, and the list goes on and on. But one of my favorite groups of all time, and one of my favorite bass players, Tracy Pugh. Um, um, I idolize that guy, and actually covered um, covered uh, Junkyard in one of my old bands. Um, great song, but yeah, if you ever see this out there, pick it up. It's it's a interesting interpretations of birthday party songs. Um, next, I got uh, Blood Brothers. Burn Piano Island Burn on Second Nature. Um, this is the first record that I've purchased from the Blood Brothers. I heard them a lot, like when they were, you know, around, um, but never bought anything and finally bought something, and I, I really like this record. It's kind of got that. I don't know, there's a weird, like, the whole singing, screaming, emo thing, um, a little bit, but for the most part, it's, it's all over the place and really chaotic, and that's what I love about it, it's, it, and the lyrics are very, very good, too. Um, up next is Six Finger Satellite. This is, um, this was, a. Um, I think their last release before they broke up on Sub Pop. And yeah, it's Law of Ruins is the name of it. See that? I wish it had better packaging, but I mean, this is what they released it. This is one of the ways they released it. Um, Six Finger Satellite, uh, synth, real bassy, real fun music, um, kind of noisy. Um, See up next we have AIDS Wolf with the the Lovers LP. This is some really fun noise rock. I, I've only listened to it a couple of times, but 
Um, and, and there's all sorts of goodies in here too. I'll show you one of them here. I've got a couple of like neat posters. Looks like everything's like been screen printed by hand, but I, you know I know it was mass produced. But um, yeah, it's really really fun record. So if you see that out there, pick it up. Um, up next, I got a 10-inch um, fins to make us more fish, um, fish-like rather. Sorry, um, this is by Liars. Um, it's two songs and they're really noisy. Um, I, got, I got to see these guys uh, a few years ago open up for the, well, quite a few years ago, almost 10 years, uh, open up for the Yeah Yeah Yeahs um, in, at the Southgate House in uh, Covington, Kentucky, which is right across the river from Cincinnati. And I um, was really impressed by them. So yeah, I picked that up and I picked up this full length here. They threw us all in a trench and stuck a mo monument on top um, on Blast First and Mute records, basically. Um, yeah, I've only listened to this once, but it's excellent. If you, if you see this out there, pick it up. It's a lot of fun. And then finally, um, I, you know, I you know, I've heard this band a lot, and a lot of you guys have been mentioning them since I started watching these videos, so obviously we have a common thread when it comes to Boris. Uh, this was the Southern War pressing. Um, with that one, I kind of wanted, wanted to talk about a little bit, um, something that we've probably all experienced. Um, I paid $60 for that record, and... I mean, I, I didn't feel good paying about that much when I bought it, but, you know, I hadn't seen it in any of the stores around here um, or anything, and on eBay it was going for about as much. So, I, yeah, I went ahead and bought it, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those moments where you don't know if, you know, you're going to see it again, so you have to take the chance, and then, uh, of course, you know, a week later I see it at one of the stores I go to, um, for 30 so I guess the moral of the story is um, good things come to those who wait maybe um, or take a risk you know and I did and I love that album you know it's it's a beautiful album so um, that's all for this video and I'll see you guys again in a bit talk to you soon bye